We're here today to show you what you can do to an old concrete driveway with our fused solid color stain. Uh, you can see behind me that we've already completed the project. Uh, this project in particular was covered uh, with blanket marks from being finished in the winter as well as rust stains and other markings due to in part uh, finishing techniques that were used and wear and tear from, from being a concrete slab. So join us today and, and let us show you how to put this down properly and, and restore the concrete in your home. Prior to etching the surface with easy prep, we're just going to go ahead and blow off the concrete to make sure there's no loose dirt. Okay, so we have uh, prepped our concrete slab for the fused stain. Uh, we started by blowing off the concrete and inspecting the slab, the walkway, and the porch for any contaminants, sealers, or other things. We're now at the point where we want to uh, spray and, and work the surface with the easy prep material. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Why don't you join us? We'll get started. Here we're using a pump sprayer to spray the Easy Prep undiluted at about 250 to 300 square feet per gallon. All right, guys, we finished up with our Easy Prep. Now we're going to follow that up with a pressure washer. Uh, this pressure washer is at least 3,000 psi. Uh, we're going to be very methodical here. It's important both that we Remove the easy prep that's on the surface. We loosen any other debris that wants to come with it. And uh, we don't create any streaks or any lines. So be thorough during this step and uh, we'll go ahead and get this done for you. We'll move on. When pressure washing, it's important to be methodical. As you'll see in the video as we continue, the concrete is changing color. That's an important thing to help you see that you're lifting the contaminants out of the concrete and opening up the concrete the way that it needs to so that you've got good adhesion with the fused solid stain. Okay, we have finished our prep work. We have pressure washed, rinsed, and allowed the slab to dry completely. Now we're ready to prime. This is an important step and an integral part to ensure that your fuse stain lasts a long time and uh, performs at the expectation of you and your client. Uh, it's important at this point to note that whenever you're dealing with more than one gallon of fuse primer, color, or as a seal component, that you make sure that you batch all your units together. That'll ensure that you've got good conformity and that you're working uh, without having any kind of issues due to color uh, that can, can arise when keeping your, your product separate. So we'll go ahead and mix this now and then we'll get started. There are several ways that you can apply the primer. We chose to use an HVLP or airless sprayer and back roll. Okay, for this porch area, the landing and the walkway, we're gonna go ahead and use our trusty chip brush and a nine inch roller. When you're working in tight quarters here, when, where we've got some faux stone, we just wanna take extra care uh, not to get anything where it doesn't belong and to make sure that we get good coverage into these tight corners. So we'll go ahead and get started. Cutting in is an important way to keep stain from getting in areas that you don't want it. It's also a good way to set yourself apart by having a more professional finished appearance on the job site. So we've successfully placed our primer on the driveway, the walkway, and the porch. We're gonna go ahead now with our fused solid stain. Uh, so let's get started. We opted to use an 18 inch roller uh, for the application of the fused stain due to the high winds that we were experiencing the day we did the job. It's interesting to note that the temperature that day was over 90 degrees. The, temp the temperature of the concrete was even hotter. But as you see, as we continue to roll out the stain, there's no lines. Uh, the stain melts in and adheres uh, perfectly to the concrete and is very easy to use throughout the application. 
View stain is also very forgiving when it comes to back rolling. You want to back roll about 30 to 50 percent over each previous mark, but you can see how those marks melt into each other and don't leave any impression. It's important to note at this point the exceptional color height of fused solid stain. Not only does it have some really neat advanced chemistry and great adhesion and durability, but it offers exceptional color height over uh, the concrete blanket marks that are present as well as throughout the job several rust stains that had developed on the concrete. We're using the primer sealer to seal uh, the colored portion that we've done already. The benefit of using this product is that in a couple years if they want to change the color or address any wear spots that they have, they can go directly over the fused solid stain to do so. We also have other sealers that can be used, including a very durable polyurethane for commercial interior applications, uh, but we did this for ease and for future value to the client. As you can see, Fuse Solid Color Stain is a simple, straightforward, easy application for both contractors and consumers, DIYers, and other professionals. <music>